All right, I think I remember how to use this. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have been on YouTube. Probably a little over six months. Um, I don't know, life has just been, nothing's wrong. Um, well, I mean, there was a little hiccup in February that happened to my father. He um, actually had a stroke. So there was a point in time where, you know, that was consuming our lives. He's doing so much better now, thank God. Um, so there's that. But then I just took a mental break from YouTube also and just been focusing, like I said, on family, my, my, my daughters. I have two grown daughters if you are new to this channel. Um, my name is Leanne, by the way. If you are new to this channel, welcome here. Um, I do everything that has to do with cooking and just basically life. I'm a little rusty here in filming. I apologize. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say that I am back. I am ready to create some videos. I am going to be doing some short and long term. Is that how you say it? Short form and long form content on here on YouTube, doing YouTube shorts, long form videos here on YouTube. Also, I have a TikTok and an Instagram that I post some reels. I'll link that up here on the screen. Anyway, so I thought that I would just show you my day today. I'm not going to get into all the reasons why I haven't been here on YouTube. That is here and gone. So I am going to be creating, no, I am going to be making some lunch here. I have some eggs that I am going to hard boil up. I'm going to make a tuna salad sandwich for lunch here. Um, I am working today, but later on in the afternoon, I have a dermatology appointment. I think I might have mentioned a while back, I have a keloid on my arm and I did have a plastic surgeon try to remove it, but didn't work. Um, it actually grew back and it grew back larger. So I'm going to a dermatologist this time. Um, I've just seen and read up that maybe the dermatologist can put certain injections in it to help reduce the um, reduce the keloid and make it look a bit little bit better because it is disgusting looking. Even though it's just scar tissue, it just does not look very pleasant. So I am going to get to making my lunch and then I'm going to get back to work. I'm working from home today, and then I will take you to my dermatologist appointment later, and then maybe show you what I'm having for dinner. But so this is sort of like a hey, I'm welcome back kind of video, and also showing you what I'm eating in the day. This morning, I really didn't have anything for breakfast. It is actually 11 o'clock right now, taking lunch a little early since I have to go to this doctor's appointment. Um, all I had was some protein coffee. Um, uh, I just put powdered protein in my coffee and drink it that way. I've been trying to up my protein here too, to help with whatever more protein, the better they say, right? So that's what I'm doing. Um, but let's get to cooking my lunch. for 17 minutes. All right, your alarm call X is set for 11.22 a.m. channel you are not going to see all the time the most creative lunches dinners meals there's just some days where you just have to get the food on the plate and eat and you don't have the time and that is one of the days today like I said I was working from home this is a normal go-to for me tuna salad either with crackers or on a piece of sourdough like today or on top of a salad that I make um, so 
like I said, on my channel, you're going to see all different types of food ideas, meal ideas. So I hope you stick around, decide to subscribe if you're new. And now let's get on with showing you how the tuna salad ended up. Sobos, silly girl, seepy seepy bums. Look at this one. Both need haircuts. All right, so I am getting ready to go to the dermatologist, but I think I am going to set out some chicken for dinner. I got this. Kung Pao Broccoli, the label is on the front of it, so you can't really see, but it's Kung Pao Broccoli from Aldi. I think I'm going to make this with some Trader Joe's rice, if I still have one, I do, the Jasmine Frozen one, because I hate making rice. This is so convenient. And then I think I'm going to use this broccoli. And then I have, hold on, I need two hands for this. I have these skin, skinless breast strips, this family pack. It was only $6 originally, but I think it was probably $2 off at Fresh Time. Fresh Time always has some great deals when, you know, their um, meat is getting to date. All you have to do is freeze it. Perfect. So I'm going to let this defrost. Um, the rest of the time that I am at the dermatologist and I am going to get ready to go. Um, I am also going to show you my keloid on my arm. So if anybody has problems or gets squeamish because of stuff like that, like I said, it is just, um, what do you call it? Scar tissue. And I actually got it from a bug bite of all things. And it's been years at least 10 years since I've had this and at least four years since I got it removed by the plastic surgeon but like I said it came back so let me show you okay I'm going to give you a warning three two one there it is like I said it's ugly it's ugly it's bothersome it gets very very itchy and tender at times also. This side's not so bad, but this side, I don't know. I don't know what kind of injections that they can give you. The, the plastic surgeon told me steroid injections, which he gave me before he did my surgery, and it did go down tremendously, but I don't want to get steroid injections for the rest of my life, so I'm going to see what the dermatologist says about this. So I realized after editing this video, I never really told you what the doctor said about my keloid. So you will see here that there's bandages on it. She did inject a steroid into it. I need to go back at least two or three times to get um, the injections between like four and six weeks apart. So we'll see if it works. All right, so I am back from the doctors and running around. You saw I got um, a car wash. I went into the grocery store, picked up a few things, a few things that I was looking for that I didn't need. All of this was $80. I know that like this was a little bit more expensive and so was that. And then I got a steak for $12, but um, that's like 30 40 of it and the rest was $40. I Prices are horrible, but I love to shop at Aldi, I do. But to go into this grocery store, I needed a few things that Aldi didn't have, so that's why I went here. But anyway, so just a quick haul. I got some sour cream and onion chips with some fresh onion dip for later. Now I picked up the steak because it looked good. 
I still have my chicken left out. Um, I'll decide what I want to eat here in a little bit for dinner. I'm not sure. The steak is calling my name. An onion. I got some protein powder. I mentioned this morning that I'm putting protein in my coffee in the morning, and this is what I've been using and loving. This vanilla flavor is delicious. I got an Italian dressing, my favorite dairy-free half and half uh, for my coffee. I'm not fully dairy-free. I was a while ago, but not right now, but I still i am stuck on this half and half because it makes your com coffee very creamy. My favorite cold brew, Stoke, some lettuce, some hearts of romaine, a quarter of, is that a quarter? I don't know. A little slice of watermelon, some toilet paper, and my dermatologist told me to get this amlactin uh, lotion. I have dry elbows, so she told me this works really well, so I picked that up too. Um, I'm going to put this away, and the next time that I get on here, I will show you what I'm having for dinner. All right, so we're back. So I decided to have the steak for dinner. Um, the chicken is kind of still frozen. Not really. That's just my excuse. Um, it'll be fine. I'll cook it tomorrow. No worries. It'll just be what I eat for dinner tomorrow. I will eat it. But I am going to make this steak. And then, if you don't fall down, I use the Montreal steak seasoning on my steak and then I will put it in my air fryer. This is the little basket into my air fryer over there. I cook it on the um, steak setting and it, it comes out perfect every single time. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make myself a salad, which I will probably actually eat prior to the steak. So I'll show you both separately, but let's just get dinner started. Comment down below if you're like me that you wash your pre-washed lettuce. If you open up a bag of already chopped up pre-washed lettuce and smell it, it, smells disgusting to me like preservatives. So I like to soak it in some vinegar water and in really cold water, cold vinegar water. Just let it soak for a little bit and then I will rinse it off and then I will usually just store it in my salad spinner in the refrigerator. So this is a pretty sad looking salad, just lettuce, onion, and feta. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of this Ken's Italian dressing and call it good. Look how beautiful that steak is. One of my favorite meals ever is steak. 